Right, welcome everybody to Latisse Inspired. Today we are just going to do a general vlog what happens in the kitchen. It's just past Christmas and uh, we've been very busy. Uh, tonight we're going to relax, put our hair down. Um, I think we're going to have some um, chicken wings, might make some burgers, I'm not too sure. But I've decided to vlog it and uh, give you a little insight to sort of the restaurant and staff and how we eat and so on. So um, I'll keep you updated on what we do today. I'm just cooking a normal curry, chicken tikka paneer, madras sauce. I've got a massive chicken pre-cooking away, and uh, Sandori Chef is making all the naan bread. So yeah, we're gonna have a very busy day today. Josh, are you meant to be working or eating chips? <laughs> Slacking off work here. Before I wasn't watching, but I was watching him eating the chips, yeah? When he was meant to be working. It's okay, he's not too busy. He's nice and relaxed, so he can do whatever he wants. Some of my drafts. So, just tell me what you're doing. What is that? Sorry, I can't hear you. What are you learning today? How to cook what? Mushroom pilau rice, yeah? The young Josh here is going to learn his first ever mushroom pilau rice. How do you feel? He's tired before he even started. So what did you put in there? Half an onion? Uh, yeah. What else? Uh, some butter. Yeah. And then some mushrooms. Mushrooms. Salt? Yeah. Okay. Now give it a mix until it goes caramelized. <laughs> he wants to learn, so I'm teaching him. Look at him. He's adorable, isn't he? <laughs> he's gone red. Uh, he's learning how to cook today with me. Training good, wiping it down, keeping it nice and clean. Your onions are burning, man. Give that little stuff. That's it. Give it more for stir. Get that caramelized in your mix. There you go.
flame up and then they get kind of a bit more gold and then we got the spices. <laughs> Chicken cashmere in Yeah, we just. Josh is doing a cracking job. He's nearly done. Customer's waiting for the mushroom rice. Yeah. So he's under pressure a bit. The rice part, oh yeah. The cake house. The big one. Get a long container lid as well, mate. Young Josh's first ever mushroom pilau rice. I think it's cooked right. Whack it on top of the gantry, Josh. Josh, come here. How do you feel? Surprised you could do it. Can you do it when he's busy? No? No, that's not good. No? I I think that was a very good attempt for Josh. Um, he did his first ever mushroom pilau rice. And um, he's my young assistant today. And he's very passionate about food. And he wanted to uh, be in the vlog, so I thought I'd give him a chance. I think he did very well. Right, that was young Josh who cooked away his mushroom pilau rice. Kitchen's uh, getting busy. Uh, got an order on go. And we're cooking um, pre cooked chicken today. There you go. Look at this big pot of chicken. There you go. So chicken karai, chicken tikka kashmiri, chicken away. Chicken tikka karai. Chicken tikka karai.
Right, um, I'm tidying up. Uh, we have a couple of hours left. Um, today we're going to get a special treat. The guys from the front, they're going to be making us some burgers and chips. So, um, gourmet style burgers. Um, I think it's uh, lamb mince again because we use lamb in our uh, dishes. So, it's going to be lamb mince uh, cooked with some. Uh, I think we're having some chips. Chips, no, you know. Chips and wings. So we're going to have chicken wings and we're going to have some uh, chips, Maris Piper potatoes. I'm hoping for some chunky chips, proper steak chips uh, with the burgers. So it's a little treat for the guys at the back. We're normally doing all the cooking, but today they're going to take over and do the cooking. So I'm going to pass you over to them. Right. Uh, firstly, introduce yourself. This is Halal. Go on. Oh. Yeah, my name is Halal. I'm going to be doing the chicken wings, which I've got all the spices and marination here and my fellow colleague here is going to be cutting the steak cut chips these are the potatoes so we're using and cut some this size so now come over cut your chips and i'll go through the chicken wings so this recipe. is Kamrul. Kamrul, say hello uh, hi my name is Kamrul. and where are you from I'm from bangladesh uh, which area uh, Satok. Satok, yeah? Yeah. You're not from Bishnat? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, next door. So this is our Satokhi Moina from <laughs> Satok, Bangladesh. And he's going to be making us some steak cut chips. There you go. I'll, I'll let pass it over to these two hopefully competent guys. Whilst he's cutting his chips away, I want to show you these chicken wings right here. What we're going to be nibbling on with the burgers. These are the wings we're going to be using today. Right. I've got all my spices ready here as well. So we've got tandoori paste here, bit of mustard paste, salt, Kashmiri paste, garlic, tikka paste, and poultry paste here. What are you doing? I'm chips. Chips. Moina, our chips are dry. Chips. Moina, our chips are dry. Chips. Moina, our chips are dry. He's got a lot of love for his wife. He's going to take a burger and chips for his wife as well. He's going to take a burger and chips for his wife as well. He's going to take a burger and chips for his wife as well. He's going to take a burger and chips for his wife as well. He's going to take a burger and chips for his wife as well. He's going to take a burger and chips for his wife as well. He's going to take a burger and chips for his wife as well. He's going to take a burger and chips for his wife as well. He's going to take a burger and chips for his wife as well. He's going to take a burger and chips for his wife as well. He's going to take a burger and chips for his wife as well. He's going to take a burger so this guy clearly loves his wife uh, he's gonna take a takeaway for his wife he said but I said if she wants any more food, she'll have to pay for it next time. Inshallah. Inshallah. My marination, Kitahura, what are you doing with your marinade? Yeah, yeah. I've just added yogurt to marinade it. Marinade I've just added yogurt to it. And I've showed you the spices before. I'm just giving it a good mix. So and this I'm is the marinade for the chicken wings, yeah? Yeah, then I'm going to add a bit of a mustard oil at the end. Give it a shine to it. Okay, so he's gonna add a bit of mustard, so which obviously has that zinginess to it. And this is edible mustard, so um, I know there's a lot of issues uh, people have with mustard, mustard oil and so on, chemical. Well, they say it's not uh, for hum right for human consumption, but Bengalis have it all the time anyway. And they're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> so the wings gone in. I'm just gonna get stuck in there with my hands, gave it a good marinade. Chicken wings going in, it gets nicely marinated. There you go. See ya. There you go. Beautiful. And he's going to marinate that, leave that to rest for about half an hour to an hour. And yeah. then it, are we going to stick this in the tandoori? Or? Yeah, tandoori. Definitely. So it's going to be grilled in the tandoori, hopefully nice and flavoursome. Josh, come here, mate. What are you looking forward to? What were you sneaking up there? <laughs> what, what, what are you having? He's got himself a drink. 
What are you drinking? J2O. J2O, what flavor? Uh, orange and passion fruit. So that's where the orange and passion fruit is. Uh, we don't, <laughs> gone missing, yeah. <laughs> Right, so we found the culprit. Right, here you go. So these guys are carrying away. And then um, I've got this young man over here. Al Rahman Bay. Yeah. Where are you from, Rahman Bay? Pakistan. Azad, Kashmir. No, you know what? You're from Kashmir. <laughs> <laughs> so he's from Pakistan, side of Kashmir. What's your name? Rahman, yeah? Rahman. Rahman. Alhamdulillah, Rahman. What are you cooking for us? Vegetable. So I'm cooking the vegetable for the week and he's a very nice lad, he's just um, come here mixing it so obviously not letting the, letting the vegetables overcook which is very helpful. Thank you very much Rahman Bhai. He's always helping us in the kitchen. There you go, let these guys crack on and then we'll record it in a bit. So the water's boiling now. Oh, it's okay. The water, Master uh, join. So the water's boiling away, and he's adding the potatoes, and the potatoes are skin on. Nagida kamro. Samra umra ruise. Samra. Samra. Takle aroma da. Samra aroma da. Wingzo samra ruise. Chest bala. Dalo aroma maya kori dalo na wa. Wow. Ai da ida bala mo rega ida ya idia. British or Matthew moza? Ah. British or Matthew na wa So uh, the potatoes gone in, skin on. Obviously, it's been washed and scraped. And uh, we're gonna have this. I think we're gonna cook this about 15 20 minutes, let it soften up, roughen up, and then we're gonna fry it. So it's either gonna be double cook or triple cook chips, guys. Right, I've just cleaned up my uh, kitchen and uh, an order has come through. So uh, this is the, one of the worst nightmares for chefs. Um, but mind you, we've got um, it's still open, but we thought we had the last customers. So we're gonna be cooking away. Cook is gonna have some spits and spats. Gonna have to wipe it up again. Like it. Right, we're getting some burgers made now, yeah. Black burgers here. Thickness of the burgers. Here. So I'm just using the clean stone on a round base. Get my lamb mince here. Grab a portion like that in my hand. You can see the char grill marks, so charred, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Right for the main event. Here. Main event for the burgers, it's going down. So what we got here, a bit of vegetable oil. Just a bit of vegetable oil, obviously we don't want the burgers to stick on the pan. I'll stop on the bottom. Go. Yeah, get the burgers on. So it's not marinated, just the meat, yeah? Yeah, just raw meat. So this is how we like it, just the meat on its own, so no marination. And he's gonna add obviously the salt and peppers now. Yeah, that's what I watched on uh, his videos when he's making the gourmet burgers, it's prick, salt, and then pepper. So nicely seasoned salt and pepper, there's going to be salt on the other side as well so it's quite a lot of meat, it needs a lot of salt actually. There's going to be more burgers so uh, we've just got another pan. It's going to have the grill effect. The, this is sort of the char, char grill effect on that. It's not the cast iron pan, but that's a bit heavy, but obviously it's for us, so it's fine. Cheese the acaba for that, but it's nice. Cheese already, honey. So 
It needs a lot of seasoning guys. Um, obviously there's no flavour in the meat whatsoever, it's just plain meat and um, so heavily seasoned with salt and pepper. Obviously people add a lot of different marinades, Worcester sauce, mustard, etc. But um, we like it like this, nice, plain, simple. And we're gonna add the condiments on the actual burgers, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're That's gonna good. add the condiments on the burgers, so it's gonna be nice. But today is halal style, so I'm looking forward to it. Nice little treat for the, uh, the guys treating us at the back. So it's gonna be hopefully a beautiful meal. What do you reckon, Josh? You're gonna enjoy this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah boy. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's been about a couple of minutes. I reckon one more minute, and then we're gonna flip this this side. I can see it sort of changing color at the bottom. You don't want this to be overcooked, guys, and obviously not raw in the middle, and um, then it has the beautiful flavors. These have already been boiled, just uh, rinse them out on the calendar. I'm going to do the first fry on 230 on the chip fryer, so get the first fry over with. So triple cooked chip guys, it's been boiling and it's just cooled down and now he's going to fry it in a sort of medium high heat yeah. and then uh, lift it up again and when the burgers are done, just before we start eating, he's going to put the chips back in again. Although you don't have to, but it just feels a nice little crunch. It's going to be beautiful, guys. Well, we're going to definitely enjoy it, but you can give this a try at home. Can you see it there? There you go. So we're going to give it a little flip. Get the spatula. I was wrong, the gas was low, so we're gonna have this. As you can see, it's not as dark as we want it. This one's slightly better, that pan is slightly thinner. That's got the perfect crust, so we want that on that, really. So you save the burgers right in time. There you go, it's looking gorgeous. I'm just going to show you the crust. Look at this. That's where the flavour is, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. Same as we did on the other side. So the chips are going away. Going in, sorry. Same again on the other side. It's all on going in the kitchen. So salt and pepper on the other side now. I put the gas up on this one, so um, I want that charred effect. And then we're going to put the cheese and just let it, we're going to turn the gas off and let the, let the meat rest. And when the meat is resting, then obviously uh, the flavor is going to, there you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Beautiful. That's Beautiful. One. This is plain grilled, guys. We don't want Burger King. No whoppers here. Yeah. This is better than Burger King. There you go. Yeah! <laughs> I thought you won. That's the one. I don't think we need any fire extinguishers. No, 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 it's all no. good. Someone call Fireman Sam. I've just wiped my cooker, so I'm crying at this moment. Is this worth it though? Yeah. What have you just told Stefan? Beautiful. It's going to be nicely seasoned, guys. And we're going to put the gas a bit down now. So now on low flame. Chip chop, what do you think I can do? Oh, come on. Chip chop, our time lag. Our time lag. It's the master chip fryer today. <laughs> fryer. All right. Sorry, sorry about this slightly anemic burger, but um, yeah, we didn't judge the flame. We're gonna let this cook out, guys, and the cheese, the cheese gonna go on. Yeah. The chicken wings are done now. Definitely, got a well done crust to it. Yeah. Look at this, beautiful. Very 
Look at this, absolutely gorgeous. Nice and soft and tender. Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Armadillos, just how you like them. <laughs> Remember that advert, Josh? Dime bar. Oh, you're too young for that. Way too young. Dime bar, armadillos. Crunchy on the out, soft on the in. I think they only remember the Snickers one. <laughs> get the nuts. There you go, look at these. These are beautiful. We're going to leave this in the gantry and then uh, scoff on them when we eat it. So we're using um, good old, what is it, Dairy Lee? Dairy Lee, there you go. What should we do, single or double? Um, I think we all bunch of fatties, so we'll have a double cheese. Double. Double cheese. There you go. Right, cheese is on. What we're gonna do, turn the flame down, off really, and let it sort of cook in its own juices and let it rest. I'll tell you what, these chips are looking phenomenal. Look at that. Nice and beautiful. Right, the burgers are just gonna be made now. So he's got brioche buns, and these are being uh, steaming away in our... Uh, so what sauces are you using? We've got uh, mustard here. So this is English mustard, yeah? English mustard. So it's we've very zingy. And uh, I think we're going to put a bit of mayonnaise on it as well. So mustard, ketchup and mayonnaise, guys. Yeah. Not too much mustard. So Obviously it's English mustard, so he's, yeah, he's saying strong. not too much. You don't want the zest to come in out from your nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's mayonnaise. Obviously he's putting out all the sauces bang in the middle so when you put the burgers in all the sauces are going to be squishing out everywhere. Let's get the Apart from your hands. Look at that. There you go. These are, these are looking lethal. Absolutely gorgeous. Cheese have melted. Go. Kamulita bagar satu kau milih ni. Milih lagi. Milih lagi So this is uh, Halal's favorite. I like this. So I would normally put the balsamic onions and. Uh, Maybe some veggies, but we're gonna have a proper meaty, cheesy, and with some chips. Beautiful. Eating before hook. We just we just caught him sneaking up and tasting the food. That's no good. Cook Ah. I'm not television or ultra or an iPhone for the highlight. I'm not going to iPhone for the highlight. I'm not going to be able to I'm not going to be able to do it. Right, we're going to start munching away now. We've got our Cokes, nice uh, fizzy soft drinks. The burgers are wrapped up in foil paper, some nice chips, salad. Sauces are there. We're gonna be munching away, guys. So, right, 
These chips look a bit mighty crunchy. These look a bit crunchy. So I like the look of these. I'm gonna munch these away. Am I you? Alright, Bismillah. I'm gonna check out these wings. These look like it's um, those smaller size chicken, the pousson of chicken. Um, it tends to be a bit tender and uh, more sucky than and juicy. And I think he's marinated that well. Nice and flavorsome. The wings are beautiful. So this is a chili sauce from the marinade, I think, of the chicken. So we just heated it up, cooked it sort of with a bit of oil. It's very nice. Nice tangy. Now this is the burger. It was a massive burger. Yeah, let's do it. Now it looks like a McDonald's burger. So it's gone small. <laughs> well, hopefully it's nice, juicy and tender. Bismillah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice, nice and juicy. There you go, nice and juicy. Beautiful. Mamo in the kitchen, he's not gonna eat with us, he's tidying up, bless him. He's gonna take it home and have it at home with his lovely missus. He never eats alone. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. We're having a nice meal, and um, it was very. It was cooked by the front uh, front of house guys today. Really appreciated. Uh, gave us a break after the Christmas festive season, and we're, we're tucking away, really enjoying it. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe um, if you watch this and you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for tuning in. Bye bye, See ya.